We live in frigid Greenland and in hot, humid Singapore. We live where hurricanes hit or where floods strike. We live on ranges that are much grander than anything climate can throw at us. And that's because we already adapt. Adaptation is just basically spending money to stay in place. Can we afford to risk that climate change won't be as bad as expected? Can we afford to count on humans adapting as much as we need it? I think you know the answer for me is no. Mitigation would be for the whole world to agree to raise the price of gasoline by two bucks a gallon. That would be a carbon tax. That would accelerate the electric vehicle push. Folks, the world has not enacted Greta Thunberg's agenda. I have worked for 25 years now on climate change adaptation because I'm so worried that the world has not solved the free rider issue that everyone hopes that everyone else will mitigate. In contrast with adaptation, to protect our families, to protect our loved ones, we have incentives to be proactive in seeking solutions to heat, fire risk, flood risk. For any of the plagues that can be named by climate scientists, we have strong incentives to seek solutions, and that creates a market incentive, the invisible hand focused on adaptation. This, this really is about decision-making and action under uncertainty. I mean, if you, if you see smoke coming out of a house, you don't know if it's going to burn down the whole building or the temperature or all these other little details, but you know that you shouldn't run into the house unless you're a fireman with a fire hose. And there's so many situations where we've got enough of a warning that we know we need to act. And no, we don't know what's going to happen, but what I'm pretty sure of is that if we want adaptation to work, we need to be doing a heck of a lot more mitigation right now, because if we're not doing more mitigation, the odds that we're going to be able to adapt to those much higher temperature swings and extreme weather is going to be much, much Don't lower.